During the last 10 years, my organization has been focused on reconnecting families and communities. In the last month, this came into play more than ever before. Now that our country is facing coronavirus and we are all practicing a social distancing, uh, it is very important to revisit some important topics which we've been trying to address uh, all these um, 10 years. I have always been a firm believer that strength of our country lies in the strength of our families and communities. During these challenging times, I would encourage you to bring the best in you and to watch over one another and watch over our neighbors and to do your part to help the situation. And one of the best things that we can do is to stay isolated and to honor what we are being asked to do. But there's something else I want to talk to you about and that is how to utilize this time that we're given now to spend with our families at home and how to make the most of it, not just right now, but to make most of, most of use of this time for the days to come. This is the one time where I think we all can agree that uh, uh, American families should have more of their own homegrown produce around homes. A situation like this uh, with the coronavirus have taught us that uh, we should be self-reliant. And with that in mind, I've been asking America uh, for quite a few years to go ahead and plant a tree in a yard. So for any of you who have a piece of land, I would like to encourage you to use this time to go, go to Home Depot, go to Walmart and pick up a fruit tree and plant at least one fruit tree with your kids and your family. So planting trees uh, and that is whatever you can grow in your area. I'm in Southern California and we can grow lots of citrus. Uh, planting trees, it's beneficial on so many levels. Uh, this is a one way for me to keep my kids engaged with nature. Another thing is we're able to get a little income back. And thirdly, having the fruit trees, I'm able to uh, grow some of my own food. I'm a big advocate on teaching kids some basic life skills, including growing their own food, preserving food, and using food uh, for healing. Uh, having lemons is a wonderful thing. A situation like this that we have with coronavirus, although uh, lemons cannot fight coronavirus, they're a good uh, fruit to have to build immune system, and they can help sanitize hands and uh, surfaces to some extent. Growing grapes, I'm gonna find this funny, but um, last year I taught my kids how to distill alcohol out of fruit. Uh, this is something again that our children should know how it's done. They should be able to produce these things on their own. With the technology today, uh, we are raising uh, intelligence, but we are losing a lot of common skills and common sense that a lot of our children will need in the future to survive. Our little property has over 150 different uh, tr oh, fruit trees yeah. and uh, I understand that everybody has the ability to grow a lot of fruits around their property, but if you have a piece of land, as I said, plant at least one. Uh, we have an apricot here, uh, we have another apricot, and then we have a peaches, a few different kinds of peaches. Uh, we have persimmons, grapefruit, oranges, uh, we have olive tree, we have pomegranates, and you name it. One of the reasons why we should grow more of our own food is, uh, number one, having a fruit tree in a yard it will uh, occupy, uh, occupy your time with something positive and good, number one. Number two, you're gonna end up with a homegrown or organic food that you can share with your family and your neighbors. So growing fruit for yourself, it's not just good for your family, but it's also good for your whole neighborhood. Um, another thing, if you have a little extra, you can preserve these uh, fruits and have them throughout the year. So you can cut down the cost of your expenses when it comes to food. Another thing is you end up building a good relationship with your fruit trees like we have with this little uh, peach tree. As you can see, it's, uh, it's almost dead and the kids and I have decided to fight for it because there is a, a one branch that continues to live and continues to produce. So um, again, it's, it's having fruit trees, it's a lot of fun. If you're not a good gardener, trust me, you will be good at growing fruit trees. 
And one of the best fruit trees to grow is a fig tree. Figs give abundantly. They're so easy to take care of. They are not prone to diseases. And um, when you have extra, you can share it with your neighbors. And one of my favorite things to do with figs is to dry them in dehydrator and have them as a snacks for the kids throughout the year. As I said, the fig tree is very, very resilient and I have shared some new uh, branches with my neighbors and I'm encouraging everybody in my neighborhood to uh, plant a, a fig tree because as I said, they give so abundantly and there's so much that you can do with this kind of fruit. This is one of my favorite in our yard because we only have one apple tree and uh, throughout the year we get to share uh, fresh apples with our neighborhood and then uh, there's always plenty to dry and leave for the rest of the year. Another reason about um, why you should grow fruit trees is this is the promise of the abundance of the for the next season. So here's my lemon tree and it's in the spring it's blossoming and it looks like it's covered in the snow. This is such a beautiful sight and uh, it's calming and it's definitely uh, a good emotion when you come to something that you, you tend to, you take care of and you see it blossom and grow under your hands. Countries who experience hardships understand the importance of growing and having a availability of a fresh food for their nation. Our country has been blessed and we had not had such a uh, uh, struggles on our territory for a long time but uh, today's enemy is different we don't need a, a war in order to find ourselves in a situation where we are struggling to uh, to get to the uh, fresh fruit and fresh produce and for our resources to be, be cut off so with that in mind I would like to encourage you again to um, revisit possibility of growing some of your own food and growing something that can benefit not just you and your family but that could benefit entire neighborhood. My organization is so dedicated to promoting more quality family time and teaching our youth to grow and prepare some of their own food that we partnered up with a, a very uh, an amazing partner. Uh, this is a Golden Valley Seed company in El Centro, California, who's donating all kinds of different seeds to our organization. And um, in return, we are donating these seeds to our community through library. So there are a lot of things that we can do together. And uh, this is just our way of promoting more uh, self-reliance, of teaching kids how to grow their own food and taking them to the next, next step and teaching them how to prepare it and then bringing, bringing that food to a family table and promoting more quality family time. We're fortunate to live in such a beautiful country. We have freedom, we have opportunities, and we have ways in which we, we can reshape the future for our children. So I like to invite you to participate in uh, any way you can, from small way like staying socially separated during this coronavirus to building and planting a better and brighter future for our kids. So, small steps like planting a tree, starting the garden, reaching out to your neighbor, uh, but getting more involved in your community and just getting more reconnected with your family is a good start. To find out more about my work with Blooded Seeds of Life and the reasons why I'm doing this, please visit me at www.vladav.com.